Hey guys, I'm Teresa Sterling and welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a toot. I feel like I haven't done a tutorial in such a long time. Like I know I upload like a lot of like how-to types of videos, but I haven't like done my makeup without it being like a get ready with me in a really long time. So it was time for another tutorial. Um, and I really was kind of stuck on what to do. I didn't really know like if I wanted it to be glam, natural, because I also think I've done a lot of natural lately and that gets boring after a while. And this is a look that I do a lot and I've never done a tutorial on it, which is kind of weird. Um, so it's just a classic black smoky eye, like that Kris Jenner type of smoky eye where it's just black on the lid and then it fades up to like a warm tone. I love the look of the smoky eye. I think it is sexy and gorgeous and it's really, easy to do as you guys are going to see in a few minutes it's super easy to do but i also was on pinterest this morning looking at pictures for inspo and i saw a glitter inner corner which is nothing new like i see it all the time but i was just like yeah like this is the look that i need to film right now it needs to get on my face this very second so here it is if you guys are new to my channel be sure to hit that subscribe button right down there i upload content all the time, I upload at least four times a week. Literally ask anyone in the family, I'm always uploading, so be sure to subscribe, and yeah. So without any further ado, let's get on to how to do this look. Let's begin, I'm gonna start with my eyes, but in order to let my primer sink in, I'm gonna put that on before I do my eyes. So this is the first aid beauty coconut skin smoothing primer you guys know i love this i'm gonna go in and prime my eyes this is the Too faced born this way concealer i love concealer and powder more than an eye primer it works better in my opinion well it at least works the same so you don't need to spend the money on buying a real eye primer i just put concealer on and then set it with powder now i'm going to move on to the eyes i did a really bad job at showing the color but this is the shade it's from the morphe 350 palette and this is going to be our transition tone i love the look of dark lids transitioning up to like a warm smoked out just like a just fades off into nothing but transitions into like oranges oh I love that look so much so that's what I'm doing today so in order to get that I'm first putting this light orange on the top of my transition I'm using a MAC 224 to apply this in my crease then I put this shade on which is a more vibrant orange in that palette I did such a bad job at showing those colors I'm really sorry um, and then I just use that on a smaller brush and throw this in the hollow of my crease it's still my crease it's just a little bit lower so when it fades up it's gonna be like it's black vibrant orange light orange my skin does that make sense now i'm gonna go in with a black eyeliner this is the mark jacobs remarkable eyeliner i think it is i love i like this one a lot because it smudges out really really well so that's why i'm using it i'm putting this on the outer half of my lid and then I started using a brush but your finger just works so much better so with my finger I just smudge this all the way up I keep most of it on the lash line because that's going to be the darkest and it again fades up um, so yeah once you get it nice and smudgy and raccoon looking you're doing really good this is the NYX single shadow in carbon it is so amazing as you guys can see here it is rich it is black, it is dark, it is pigmented, it is just so yes, it's so good. And it's really easy to blend out too, which is a huge plus because black is a little scary to work with, but this is a really good black to use. So I'm using a flat shader brush to pack this on, and I'm kind of moving this in the crease where I want it to go and then I'm going back in with that smaller defined brush that had like the more intense oranges on it and I'm buffing that shade out with the black and those intense oranges so that those two colors have a gradient then I'm going to go in with a MAC 224 and I blend out the intense oranges with the softer orange and this is all just building into the gradient the fading up effect that we're doing it's super simple so just go from the black to the intense oranges to the soft orange 
using all the same brushes that we used originally. I'm gonna move on down to the face and then come back up to the eyes. This is the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick. I really, really love this foundation. Um, you can go super heavy handed on this way too quickly, so today I went a little lighter. Um, as you guys see when I go back in to blend it out, I did add a little bit more back in just on some areas that I thought needed a little extra coverage, but I really love this foundation. If you guys are in the market for a good stick foundation, highly recommend this one, really bomb. And then I love tapping my beauty blender into my foundation. I think it makes it look amazing, not cakey, natural, and just like skin. Going back in with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, I'm gonna use this to shape my eyeshadow. You can obviously use a makeup wipe if you'd rather, but concealer works just as good so I'm using concealer to do that and I'm just making my edges a little more laid if you will um, and I'm also using this to highlight my face and I did this new thing around my like lips and stuff and I don't know I just I didn't I don't think it actually makes a difference I just think it's more fun to do and then I'm just pouncing this all in with a beauty blender mine is damp sometimes I use it dry if I'm really lazy but of course a dampened beauty blender is going to give you a better end result so I'm just being careful around the edges of my shadow to make it nice and sharp and good looking RCMA no color powder is the best ever so I'm just pouncing this onto my under eyes and I really wanted to keep this like real time because I want you guys to see how much a wet beauty blender really makes the powder absorb into your skin as opposed to a dry beauty blender lets it really sit on top and kind of seep in gradually this is a much quicker method moving back to the eyes I'm using that vibrant orange on the same brush and smudging this all along my lower lash line really smoking it out getting it pretty low if you will then taking the black NYX shadow and just a like small shader brush you know what I mean I'm smudging this on my lower lash line I connected to my upper lash line as well and then I go back in with the orangey smaller smudge brush and a smudge smudge Bleh, smudge that I can't even talk smudge that all along my lower lash line then I go in with a black liner on my waterline this really just finishes off the look and darkens it all up now I go in with some mascara to prep my lashes for the falsies and my falsies today are the Ardell 120 Demi Wispies but um, I was at a photo shoot yesterday and I wore these lashes and the makeup girl was like your lashes look so good I was like thanks I kind of hate these lashes like they're not really full enough you know whatever they kind of look weird she's like oh like let's add some individual lashes in the middle so we did it looks bomb like so good like come on girl so good so I have the Ardell Demi 120 Wispies with like individual lashes in the middle of it just get our dough wispies they look the same inner corner time i'm gonna put the stila liquid metal on the inner corner um, and then i'm topping it off with the Too faced pigment in nude beach over top of it just to set it and the pigment was a little um as you guys can tell it was a little like warm and i wanted it to be a little bit less pink and more gold and i'm trying to work with these new colors here and i don't have a gold of the stila so i just paired it over top of with the gold pigment. You guys, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna go in and bronze my face. I sped this up because I wanted you guys to see just how long I spend on bronzer because it changes my face. I am just a new person with bronzer and it's just the best thing ever. I need bronzer in my life. It is so good. Someone, I guess, texted me something really funny. Okay, highlight. This is Jeffree Star Princess Cut. Does anyone else bend their head like this when they do highlight? I literally am like having an exorcism. I like lean all the way over. Like I look like I'm going to break my neck. I just do it so I can make sure that my glow is like where it's like, look at this. I just make sure that my glow is like where it's supposed to go. I don't know. I think it works though. This is Baby Don't Go Blush. When I'm pale, I love this as a bronzer, but lately I've been using this as its real purpose, which is a blush and I've been living for it. It's a really pretty color. It's nice and warm, blends in beautifully with my bronzer. It's just really pretty. Now I'm gonna go in with the lip liner by NYX. This is in the shade Natural, and I am just lining my lips and filling them in with the shade, and then that is it for the look. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys all did enjoy it. If you guys want to see more of my videos, you are in luck. My very last tutorial, or my very last smoky eye, I should say, is right here. And then my very last video that you guys might have missed from yesterday is right up here. Be sure to click both of them, check them out, and I love you guys all so much. Bye!